Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the 423. Yesterday I made a video about the endless number of white influencers who are black fishing or trying to make themselves look like black women and this is a follow-up to that. So if you haven't seen it and you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest you check out my last video. The influencer who kicked off this whole situation was Emma Halberg and she just replied to all of the speculation going on around her a couple of hours ago. She posted 13 different Instagram stories, starting with Let Me Explain, where she made excuses for her transformation over the past few years, and I'll include all of those Instagram stories here. As you can see, Emma's first argument is that she tans naturally and that her before picture was taken before summer in 2016, while the pictures she takes where she looks darker are after coming home from a vacation. She also includes photos of her brother and her dad showing that they're tan in an effort to prove that her family has skin that gets dark easily. Emma claims she's not gotten spray tans, taken melatonin pills, which I'm assuming she means melanin because melatonin helps you sleep, um, and she says she's never gotten lip injections either. Next, she shows a video of her mom's hair and the caption says, for those who don't believe my mother's hair is curly and that white people can't have naturally curly hair, which in my opinion is extremely condescending because obviously nobody thinks that white people can't have curly hair, but this just proves that she has no idea what's going on. She also shows a video of herself and her damp hair straight out of the shower, which unsurprisingly is curly. She ends her story by saying she doesn't get sponsorships and collaboration because of her skin color, but how she styles her clothes and creates makeup looks. You got that right. She gets sponsorships because of how she styles her clothes. <sighs> okay. So to talk about the tanning issue first, I believe that she gets tanned during the summer. I don't think anyone was ever denying that. But, as everyone's addressing in the makeup tutorial, if her tan was always natural and she never did spray tans, her face would be the same color as her entire body. She claims in another piece of her Instagram story that her face is lighter than her body because she has a lot of acne and scarring and uses peels and toners to get rid of that. I mean, toner is supposed to even your skin, not lighten it, and I watch a ton of beauty gurus who are obsessed with skincare, and none of them bleach their face to get rid of acne scars. Alright, so she shows this picture specifically saying she's so dark because it's right after vacation. Bet. Going through a profile, that photo was taken on July 31st. Cool, so let's scroll through her profile then. All right, so on July 13th, she says, first stop, Verona. So on the first day of her vacation, she's already dark. Okay, maybe she was hanging by the pool a lot back home in Sweden, you know, where the temperature between June and August doesn't usually go over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. I don't know, man. I mean, here's a picture from June, still tan as hell. In May, in May still pretty tan. Even all the way back to January, she's still looking pretty dark. Summer must be super long in Sweden, huh? Not to mention this post where she actually tags a product, helping her get a darker tan. <sighs> Moving on. Emma is also alleging that her hair is natural and she never wears wigs, right? Except in these posts where she actually tagged the wigs that she's wearing. But when her curls go from a 2A to a 3C overnight, that's natural. I swear, y'all, her hair naturally looks like this, and this, and this. I mean, her man also seems to be a non-black person out here rocking braids, so at least she's found her soulmate. Look, I don't even want to roast this girl, but explaining your cultural appropriation and not taking responsibility for it at all does not make it any better. It's almost worse that she seems to genuinely not understand why she's wrong here. Anyway, I don't think Emma did literally anything to help her in this situation. If anything, she kind of made it worse by trying to act like she's the same as every other white girl who has curly hair and who gets a tan in the summer. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Was her response appropriate or is she still completely in the wrong here? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe to The 423 for more videos. And if you like this, just give it a quick thumbs up. 
that is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.